Oh, come in, Al. Oh, Trish, love. Uh, sorry, I, I thought you were. Well, don't put your back out. Stay there. Uh, I made Grandad breakfast, but he's snoring to himself. I heard you up, so I thought you might like it. Oh, thanks. Uh, it's appreciated. Oh, I'm sure you can slip into my room one morning and return the favour. Deal. You work out then? Uh, most mornings, try to. Shows. You right? The trouble is, he gets tougher every day. Don't seem to have the same drive I did when we were younger. What you need is an incentive. Oh, right. well, well. Just knowing that if you lost a pound or two, you'd be a very attractive man. Should be incentive enough. See you later. See you there. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Morning, Alton. Morning. 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 Hello, Hello. I thought I might go to the hospital this morning. Well, no sign of Cathy's mum and Alice? No. Well, give her my love, eh? I think Cathy'll need more than love, Jack. Ned? What, mate? Is Cathy gonna die? No, son. Well, at least we hope not. Cathy's a strong woman, full of a will to live. Isn't that right, Ned? Oh, aye, she's a fighter. Not many people Cathy's here to die. Except our Dave and Linda, like. Ned! What? You really aren't helping. My grand died. It was awful. Yeah, but that was different, Andy. Can we go and see Cathy? Oh, you don't want to do that. Uh, yes, of course. Maybe one night this week. Why don't you wait till she comes out of hospital, till she's her happy, smiling self again? Jack, why don't you take the kids to school? Yeah, come on, you lot. Bring your toast. Come on. I'll see you all later. Yep. Look, Ned, I appreciate that you're trying to help, but uh, if they want to go and see Cathy, if it leaves their minds, then I will take my kids to see her. I didn't mean no by it, you know, it's just that I saw my great uncle die when I was a young and he just skin and bones was not left of him, you know. Had nightmares for a week. I think I'll go and sort the washing out. Shouldn't put them out. It's gonna rain. Hiya. Oh, where have you been? I'm gonna be late for the nursery. I've been checking things out. What things? I've been checking out flights. Your passport's okay. What are you talking about? What's left is to get the money. No. The money stays where it is. And we're staying too. But, but yesterday in the church, I've never seen you so afraid. Yeah, well, I've had time since then. If we go now, we're on the run with only half the money. We wait for the insurance payout. The whole thing wasn't worth it otherwise. Look, I'm not so sure. Things are hot enough. Why don't we just... Shh, 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 shh. Trust me. Yesterday I panicked. Not again. I know exactly what we're doing. Morning, family. Morning, love. Morning. Got Ronnie your carad. Uh, Ronnie. What can we do with that? What are we up to today? Well, our eyes in trouble looking at your long faces. What? Well, I remember when this house used to be fun. Laughter could be heard in every room. I'll give you something to laugh at. We've got two weeks to move out. And the really funny part is if we don't, they're sending the bailiffs round. I'll be off into autumn later. To find us somewhere to live? No, uh, to pick up Cathy's winnings. I can't believe the horse I put my money on came up. Oh, so at least we've got some cash coming our way then. No, no, it's Cathy's. I, I have this thing called honour. How very noble. Zack, wake up! The bailiffs are coming! It won't come to that. Have you got some up planned, Dad? One or two options, son. One or two. Well, you better have, because I'm not living in a cardboard box for no man. Any news? Oh, I love no. No change. But that's a good thing, right? Yeah, of course it is. Have you been home yet? No. Well, you should. I'll be here. I'll call you if there's any changes. No, it's not just that, love. I can't bear 
like seeing that empty front room, knowing we've got to be moving out of there soon. Oh, it's not fair, Biff. I do wish Seth was here. I mean, how am I supposed to find somewhere for us to live? You don't have to. I can buy the house. No. Well, it makes sense. You pay me the rent, same as you always did. Nothing changes. <laughs> no. Thank you. Why? Well, you're like kin, Biff, not our landlord. You think Cathy would agree with you? She advised you to take the money, didn't she? And she was right. So you're gonna let me go ahead with it? Yeah. Good. I'll sort everything out. To be quite honest with you, unless we get some more leads, we might have hit a dead end. I see. It's obvious to us that without inside knowledge, this horse then couldn't have taken place. You've interviewed all the staff? All the current staff. We're tracking down anyone who's worked here recently. Is there anyone else you think we should be talking to? What about the Dingles? I hear lots of stories about them. We've already interviewed them. They had an alibi. But go on. Well, recently we decided it was more beneficial to the company if we sold their house. After making them a generous offer, they failed to come up with the money. So they might be harbouring some hard feelings. Butch Dingle used to work here. He'd have inside knowledge, and they obviously need the cash. Yeah. Tea's up. Oh, thank you. Very kind. Uh, we'll just finish up first. Okay. Nice one. He's such a good worker. Well, Terry. You'd be lost without him. Yeah. Hey, up. Right. Oh, tea. Lovely. It's not sugared. I don't take it. Ah, oh, that's it. You'll need oxygen the way you're going. Ah, oh, what did you want to see me for? Well, I was hoping you'd show Trisha the ropes. Me? Well, she's going to be around for a bit, which, which pleases me. And she's agreed to work behind the bar with me. I've worked in a bar before, Grandad. Yeah, but not my bar. Why me? Uh, I could show you a thing or two, if you like. Yeah, I bet you would. I'll just get rid of this lot and uh, show you how to ball up, if you like. Oh, that'd be brilliant. Thanks, Terry. Good. Uh, uh, this, is, this is fine. I I'll sign in here. You want to watch Terry? Reckons he's a Romeo. Mm, I hope so. What, you fancy him? Well, he's cute in a slightly past it kind of way. Uh, I'd rather kiss a baboon. Ah, but will a baboon do your shifts when you want the night off? Or do all the hard work just to prove how manly he is? Hmm. He's got a certain charm. <laughs> <laughs> I have a colleague coming this afternoon from our firm. More lawyers. You must breed like rabbits. <laughs> I thought it was about time we dealt with the Cathy situation. Well, what Cathy situation? Well, she was knocked over on home farm land by a home farm vehicle. And if we don't find the men who did it, I need to be certain we're in no way liable. Morning. Oh, morning, Zoe. Legally speaking, it would be much better all round if she stayed in the coma for some time, or at least woke with amnesia. Give the police time to do their jobs. I don't believe she just said that. Hey! What are you doing with that big pansy? Uh, it's a sunflower. How is it not collecting Cathy's winnings? Oh, but you thought she'd rather have a get well gift, huh? No, I was trying to figure out a way to make some money, quick, like. And? Well, you know that new garden centre that's opened up? Massive place on the main road out of Otten. Yeah, I've seen it, yeah. Well, you want to see how busy it is? At 11 on a weekday. Oh, you want to see it on a weekend and it's packed? Exactly. Exactly what? Well, I did a bit of a recce. Drew up a plan. There's pictures of the garden centre indoors. It's dead simple. Good, good. Uh... It wouldn't do for it to be complicated, would it? Well, it's not like a bank with all its newfangled security. It's a garden centre that shuts on Sunday at four. So? So no one would suspect a thing. That's why I bought the flower. So no one would suspect one single thing. Dad, um, I haven't got the foggiest idea what you're talking about. I'm talking about making some money, fast. Nobody armed, soft target. I'm talking about the garden centre outside Otten. 
Oh, hang on. You can't be serious, Dad. But I am, son. You and me, we're gonna rob the safe from that garden centre. You wanted to see me. Thought it was Chris, you should have said. I don't particularly want to see you, not after what you just said. What? I've known mm. Kathy for many years, as have a lot of people in this village. I'm aware of that. I was at the church too. Chris was married to her, for God's sake. What did I say? That you hope she stays in a coma or has amnesia to help your legal standing. Did I? Well, I didn't mean. Damn, I'm sorry. I'm. I'm truly sorry. Home Farm has any legal standing where Cathy's concerned. We will honour that responsibility. Of course. I get my business head on. I didn't mean it the way it sounded. And I think you should apologise to Chris. Of course I will. You must think I'm really heartless. Forget it. Oh, Zoe, would you do me a favour? Let me make it up to you by buying you lunch? I've only had half a sandwich. I'm afraid it I'm right. It really would mean a lot to me, knowing you forgive me. Now, because it's Sunday trading, they won't take the money to the bank till Monday. How can you be sure? Well, call it a nunch. Call it two years inside if you're wrong. Have some faith. I can't believe we're actually talking about this. We drive up. There's one security guard. Now, we won't use guns. Bits of wood in our pockets will do. Now, he's on 2.50 an hour, probably, so he'll get in the back of the van, no arguments. You wait outside and keep watch. Now, here's where the safe is, probably. Two minutes and I'm out. We dump the security guard and drive off with the weekend's takings. Smooth as butter. Yeah. If you ignore the gaping holes in your plan. Why are you being so negative? Because I don't want us to go to prison. That is not going to happen. Dad, this is a robbery. It's not a scam. This is giving the guard a good pace and doing a runner with the money. It might never come to that. Yeah, but it might. This way, there's no messing about. Bailiffs and stuff. Think about that. Do you want to be homeless? Nowhere to live? Do you think Lisa would see it that way? Lisa is never going to know about it. Do you understand? Not after the way she blew a top last time. Now, are you in or out? Of course, I mean, you're my dad, aren't you? Nice one, son. Don't worry. We're gonna come up roses. So, have you been to see Cathy? No. I thought I might not be the person our other visitors most wanted to see. I'm not that popular in the village. No, I suppose not. It's not easy sometimes. People have this blackened view of who I am. I'm very good at my job, which at times makes me the cops. People meaning me? Not just you. Well, you don't do yourself any favours saying the kind of things that you said earlier. I know. Maybe I should be publicly flogged. <laughs> I don't think we need to go that far. I'm not surprised you think me so low. Yes, why not? But, uh, don't worry. We don't have to pray for a prolonged coma. I'll make sure Home Farm isn't considered liable. I'll bet you will. That's what I'm paid for. You're one of a kind, Laura. Thank you. Don't thank me. It wasn't a compliment. Hi. Hi. Oh. Are they spoken to you again? No, not a thing. Oh, good. It's weird, isn't it? I mean, we're not that far off from where we've buried 200,000 pounds. We just dig it up and we'll be off. <laughs> With the police in hot pursuit? No, we wait for the insurance money. Well, double our money, double our chance of survival, isn't it? <sighs> Something like that. Yeah, it's tempting, though, isn't it? Yeah, and it'll be just as tempting and just as nice if we wait a little while longer. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, thanks a lot. Bye. What's wrong? Nothing. <clears throat> Why? 
It's just a hunch, but you seem distracted. Do you think I'm cold? What? Cold-blooded. You say it like it's a, a bad thing. <laughs> I uh, owe you an apology for what I said about Cathy earlier. No, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Apology accepted. I was one of the first to see Cathy. Seeing her lying there, not knowing if she was alive or not. I'm not a machine. I felt for her. I'm sure we all did. We're of a similar age, Cathy and me. That's no age to die. She's not going to die. It's not been easy carrying on as if nothing's happened. I want those thieves caught. I want Cathy to live. But you can't blame people for thinking the worst when you show them the worst. Hmm, maybe. <clears throat> did you get in touch with Armitage? He'll call back at five. Fine. Oh, you should have got that yes. What time did Jack say he'd be back? Tea time. Depends on the road. Didn't you want to go with him? No, I hate that run to skip deal. He'll manage. He's a big lad. <sighs> oh, you must be born and losing all your time. I don't lose all the time. Yeah, you do. I'll beat you in the fun run. Well, that can't be hard. I've got asthma. So I'd still beat you. Come on, boys. Homework. They've bounced back. Hey. Okay. This morning you could have moulded your shoes on there for rounds. Yeah, well, they're just kids. They probably don't even remember what they were worried about. Anyway, they've had double games since then. No, no. I envy them. The ability to switch off your worries, you know. Cathy's at death's door and they've got homework to do. It's not exactly like that. We've had our share of worries, though, eh, Sarah? I wish I had more than comforting words. Well, thanks anyway. Cos I know how busy you are. Has there been any news? My lord is a kind one. He won't keep a good woman like Cathy away from her friends for too long. Two sugars, wasn't it? Yes, thanks. I know I shouldn't, but sugar in my tea is my only vice. I doubt that. <laughs> Maybe not. On the subject of health, I've been wondering about the fun run. Oh, well, I doubt on a good day I could break into a trap, let alone a run. No, no, no. I was wondering about cancelling it. Why? Well, at times of terrible worry, such things seem trivial. Hey, at times of terrible worry, such things are a welcome distraction. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to persuade Betty to go home. Briefly. Now, Biff, you know what I've told you. Yes, you should. Cathy's got lots of visitors. But supposing you're she You're only a phone call away. I'll be right by her bedside. I suppose I could go home. Just for an hour or so. Yes. I'll even give you a lift, if you like. <laughs> Dad, can we go over this plan one more time? Well, Lisa will be back soon. Yeah, but I'm just that scared of forgetting something. You won't forget out. I've got absolute faith in you. Do you? Aye. And besides, if you do forget out, you'll be the one coshed in the back of the van. It's simple. You keep an eye on the security guard while I rob the swag. But uh, not if the uh, interest rate keeps rising. But it's a good theory, son. Hmm. All right, yeah. Thanks. All right, love. What have you been up to? Oh, nothing much. Did the shopping, read the paper. Oh, I'm not trying to find her somewhere to live, seeing as nobody else has. Oh, any luck? I've arranged to see an housing officer, see if he can get us all housed together. It won't come to that, love. Well, seeing as I'm married to you, it seems like it might. Things are in hand. I can't see anything in your hand. No job, no money, no home, nothing. Suppose you want me to make the tea? Not if you don't want to. If only did the things I wanted to, nothing would get done in this house. Right, that is it. We're definitely on. She needs cheering up, and hard-earned cash is the only thing that'll do it. I think you're right, Dad. Yeah, but remember, between now and then, we mustn't arouse suspicion from anybody. This is between you and me. Don't mention it to a soul. If we keep our heads down, nothing can stop us. Yeah?
There's a phone call in the office. Who is it? Kim. She's gonna be late, wants you to collect James. Right. Well, she's hanging on. She wants to speak to you. Check that's all right. And in future, I don't want your personal calls coming through to the office. I'm your boss, not your messenger. I watch a security guard and Dad robs safe in back. If you can help me out with a few parking tickets. Only joking. One pound fifteen. Just get a mag. Okay, love. Actually, you might be able to help me. You were in the wool pack the night Kathy Glover was injured. Why? What's been said? Nothing as such. Only it wasn't us who started it. Started what? There was a ruckus, but uh, we were passers by as good as. So who did start it? Can't remember. One of the Dingles, probably. <laughs> They were definitely there then. Oh, yeah, it's their second home, isn't it? Like it'd be their only home from what I hear. Oh, it's terrible, isn't it, all this evicting business? Give them a motive, though, to get one over on Home Farm. You reckon it was the Dingles? Well, just checking out some of but if they were in the pub. Oh, it won't surprise me. They're a thieving bunch, that lot. Mama? Oh, she's friends with one of them. Don't talk about them like they're a disease. Mandy's a right good laugh. They were definitely there then, in the pub, fighting. Yeah, but Zach and Butch went out for a bit. I saw them leave. Did they? How long a bit? Don't know. Half an hour, maybe more. Oh, wow. They could have done it then. I always said I knew it. Now, hang on. I didn't say no, that. No, of course not. But they are at the top of your list, right? I'm afraid I couldn't possibly comment. Thank you. Mm. 